I am ready for worst case scenario. You were ready for anything. I don't know uh, about that. Anything. I'm expecting something like a sea serpent. Let me like, see. Like two goat demons. <laughs> <laughs> a goat demon riding a sea serpent. <laughs> That'd be a good boss. Hey, it's a Komodo dragon. Look at him. He's adorable. Yeah, he's pretty cute. What the? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is pretty much the part I've been waiting for for a long yeah. time. <laughs> I think this is <laughs> this is the first shit. boss where people just start freaking out. <laughs> I, I'll say it now, I love the monster design in these games. Yep. They are absolutely amazing. This is, is really this is just one of my favorite cutscenes, because it's like, oh, I guess I'll have to fight like a big alligator or something, like, oh, and then adorable. this crawls out. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing he hits a little hard. What gives Do not pressure? be in front of him, ever. Well, I was thinking of being in front of him, but since you're putting it that way, fine. <laughs> He basically has two modes, one where he, like, will slam himself down and get on all six feet and run, like, charge I'm in front of him, you. this is bad, this is bad. <laughs> and another mode where he's kind of, like, in a coiled up position where do you and go? attacks you with two of the arms. It's also kind of surprising Whoa. that you lose track of something that big. Boy, that guy is flexible. Yeah. <laughs> he does yoga. I'm not sure if he even has a spine. Yeah, man. Years and years in the depths have just uh, messed okay. with him a little bit. Okay, he's got to have more to him than this. Where is it? Okay, by the way, uh, by virtue of the fact that he is a dragon with a tail, you can cut the tail off. Yeah, but I haven't had good luck with that. That's really hard to do with a spear. Yep. In in this battle, it actually does hey, help hard a decent amount. Because then you actually have a safe spot. Okay. Until I get a little more comfortable with where he is. They say tail. I guess that's just kind of if you want his goodies blocking. Is this gonna? If Whoa. you the thing is that if you cut so off his is, tail, it basically becomes like a safe zone. Ooh. That was unblockable. Yeah, Interesting. He, he can't use that tail attack if you chop it off. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice bat right there that he did. No right the edge of his tail. Yeah, he really got me with that. I thought I was out of range, and I didn't expect another That's round That's why he's one of the guys where you really want to cut off his tail, even though you will almost, like, never be able to use the item you get for it. With, with some bosses, you actually do get like pretty decent items that are not incredibly high parameters to use, but this yeah. guy, his item is uh, fun times. Um, let me I do have out. one character who can use it. Jeez, this is taking a while. Let me see, I've got to start hitting him at some point. He mm -hmm. pulls up whenever I get in area. Whenever he what does that slamming his front down attack, he pretty much always uh, tries trampling forward afterwards. Yep. So when he sl when he slams himself down like that, just get to his side and then run behind him because you'll be able to get a bunch of free attacks in. He's coiling up again. He's gonna charge. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Rolling. Yeah, you, you really have to, like, he, he can only really run in a straight line, but he can divert course, so you kind of just got to be far enough off to the side to avoid that trampling. Okay, he's going to do that. Okay. When you're on his side getting three hits on him, you may want to try two-handing it to get a little bit more damage out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm noticing that shield doesn't really seem to be a big thing with this guy. Yeah. You should be getting much. hit, but not all. He's, he's one of the few bosses that really... Uh -oh. You don't engage in much direct combat where you're both in each other's damage Ooh, zones. Uh, you action took jump. <laughs> you took your shield off, but you aren't two-handing it. <laughs> oh, uh, that's right. It's been so long. Goodness. Yeah, it's triangle. This time I actually gave you the PS3 control instead of the 360 control. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
thoughtful. Thank you. <laughs> Hit the Y button. <laughs> Which one's the Y button? <laughs> now he's gonna coil up. Yeah, I took my time. Okay. When you kind of get down to it, his only like really really dangerous attack so the one is the one where like he jumps up and then tries to land on you because with a lot of a lot of the time that'll one shot people. Yeah, he also has a attack where he swipes with his front claws in front of you. Mm -hmm. Those are the two main ones. The rest of them aren't that hard to dodge. Yep. It's it's a lot different than most of the bosses in Dark Souls, so it's uh. He's pretty interesting. Methodical compared to the norm. Mm hmm. Well, now he's stalking me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I'm just gonna. It, go it does feel way. a lot more like a, you know a normal games type boss battle instead of uh, one on one with a giant monster. Yeah, it kind of does. But see. at the same time, he still, whoop, you know, whoop, he will try to whoop. follow you, and he does have some there he goes. ways that he, he, like, he does react to your behavior in yeah. some ways. And he also he's... has, oh, he also has one yeah. attack we haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. I think that comes out later when he has more health. Whoa, that, yeah. that barely missed me. I think. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> we also haven't seen his grab, which is always fun. Yeah. Uh, he is waiting. You kind of gotta wonder what like the stare down is is like for a gigantic monster. He doesn't even have eyes. I don't understand how he's tracking you. Because <laughs> I'm running around like crazy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think his his little alligator face has eyes. Oh yeah, but God. he can't see that when it's you know looking at his tail when he has it coiled back like that. That's true, he is pretty much just looking behind him when he's doing that. Okay. You done, champ? Cause that'd be he's pretty never cool. really done. Okay, firebombs really don't work unless I'm locked onto him here. Because I always seem to underthrow him or something. He, he has really weird lock, like... Uh, lock on because the the way the lock on works in the game is that if you're a certain distance away it just breaks it automatically and that can get pretty annoying when you're facing a gigantic enemy that you want to stay pretty far away from because it doesn't increase the distance at all it's also in the middle of his stomach like his abdomen area so like if you're in the front of the back it's gonna be hard to hit yep Man, I'm really getting that he's really hard to really get the hitbox on quite right Mm -hmm. Just gotta throw something and hope I luck out and hit a limb. <laughs> he's, he's the kind of th it's the kind of thing where like if you're just in close to him, you can just you know start hitting the button, stabbing him like crazy, whether you're locked on or not. Yeah, this is one of the few bosses I don't think I ever been locked on for. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah, not when you're trying to top off his tail, because then it's it's just like yeah, you can't do it. There's no way you can do it. You are slowly uh, whittling him down, though. He's at like half health now. Mm-hmm. And your yeah. and your armor is probably at the point where he does where a single cheap shot probably won't kill you. Yeah, the armor's pretty good. And he's doing this thing, and he really likes jumping. <laughs> oh boy, he's gotten close every time. Yeah, yeah, that jump attack is always stressful because if you're running away really fast, it can be hard to like try to figure out where he's landing and also get out of the way. Oh, there's the other attack. It's a nice attack. Hmm? Kinda Vicky. Coil up. Yep, there's the coil. When I when I fight him like with melee characters, it's pretty much always just let him start charging at me and get behind him and then just start wailing on him. Yeah. I normally just do like a counterclockwise strafing motion until he does his little slam thing and then hit him yep. a couple times before he does his run and hit him a few more times. Yep. Whoop. Always a good news. You're keeping that undead merchant in business here with those firebombs. <laughs> well, they aren't really that much, so I'm just kind of going. He must be your best friend right now, or you must be his. Well, he's still telling me to go jump off a cliff, so he's not exactly <laughs> my favorite buddy. 
He only says I mean, that when you don't They don't care about their customers. I mean, it's rude. Well, I have noticed that, like, if you buy something from him, um, and then, like, go out of the buy menu and then go back into it or talk to him about something, it acts as if you didn't buy anything. Oh, he was jumping. So, like, I didn't see that. I thought he was tail whipping. I was kind of like, what? what happened? Actually, I saw a green haze. That wasn't jumping. So, like, if you, uh... If you actually do buy something and go into one of the other, like, try to do some other option with him, he still will tell you to jump off a cliff. Oh, uh, what is going on? Oh, that was just a water effect. <laughs> you should. I was like, what's he doing now? What is that? <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't walk into that. Yeah, I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. That's bad. Narrowly avoided that one. No nope. kidding, boy. Oh, and I accidentally chugged an additional, I think. How many you have left? Oh, uh, well, I didn't come in here with all ten, so that kind of played against me a little. Mm hmm. Oh, well, you're just throwing them at point blank range. <laughs> your eyes <laughs> <out and laughs> like just off. spiking him right there. <laughs> Take that. I got you. Hmm. Just take out the whole bag and start beating him with it. <laughs> <laughs> just throw a whole handful at him. He's almost there. They shove him in his mouth, but his mouth is kind of a nebulous concept. That'd be, that'd be interesting if he could do more damage with fire in his mouth or something. Yeah, I think he does have some sort of weak spot, but I can't actually remember where it is. Tail. <laughs> ah. Uh-oh. You're getting good with those dodges. Dodging those luck, I'm thinking. Swings. Uh, he spewed. He must have had an awful lot of lunch. Oh, well, he does have a big mouth. Where's it go? The one thing to be careful about the spewing attack is that it actually not only like gives you a bunch of status effects, but it also uh, damages your equipped weapons if you uh, chill in it. You want to watch out for the edge of the water there. <laughs> Yeah, I saw. I was kind of like, ooh, <laughs> go the other way. Nope, nope, he's... Ah, ah, There's always ah. a cliff. Oh, he was doing his whole stuck-in-animation thing of throwing firebombs, and I was trying to <laughs> roll away, and Gunther's kind of like, one more, man, one more. I swear I got it. <laughs> Maybe this one will beat him. Okay, this could be it. Oh, man. Oh yeah, and boom goes the dynamite. Congrats. Nice. Ah. Usually what ends up happening, and I feel like I say usually a lot uh, when you take on bosses, but usually what ends up happening is he jumps on you the first time or hits you with the charge, and he, do he does a lot of damage when uh, he gets you with certain swings. Yeah. I feel like I cheese the guy for some reason. I don't know why. No, that's basically that's what you do. Yeah, you run behind. Alternatively, like you summon. Yeah, if there's two guys, it makes it a bunch easier because he attacks one of them. The other guy can just sit behind and stab him to death. Mm-hmm. I think I know what this says. <laughs> yep, that's right. And for good measure. <laughs> Booyah! Okay, let me get my bearings. That is where I came down. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I see a. Let me see. There was a doorway there. I came down stairs. I'm pretty sure the way you came in is the way you have to leave for this area. Yeah, I Yeah, saw I don't think there's any other exit. Okay, this is closed off. It's a window. <laughs> mm-hmm. The, uh, the actual door that you want to use is uh, back by our horn helmet buddy. Yeah, the key you got opens that big gate. 
Mm -hmm. oh, I just see all these little gates along the wall, and I'm kind of like, uh, what are these? <laughs> hey, it's the water slide. Here's a fun fact. Uh, the magic guy that you killed a little while back, mm -hmm. he's in this same room, like, a few levels up. And if you get unlucky enough to get close to him and have him use his attack that powers up the attack of all of the allies around him, it will do that to the gaping dragon. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> yep. He'll also shoot uh he'll also shoot those little darts at you. Yep. In the middle of that fight. Man, that would be terrible. Mm-hmm. Here's an interesting. Here's another interesting fact, though. You say uh, interesting, but it's kind of <laughs> sort of like this would terribly. No, no, no suck this one this actually happened. is an interesting fact because if you get his weapon, which he can drop, you can actually power up uh, your allies and yourself hmm. with it. Yeah, the uh, trident he carries around is pretty awesome. Yep. It's one of those cool rare weapons that you just never really see. Yeah. That took like my third or fourth playthrough in order to actually see it the first time. Mm hmm. I think I've gotten one of them. I can't even remember what character of mine it, it's from. Showed your boss what for. <laughs> nah. He also gave you a shit ton of souls. Yeah, you should probably go. Oh, use wow. Those. You, were, you were talking about. That's right. You mentioned a cult, culture shock. I did not see that. This. The, this boss is pretty much exactly where the game starts getting ridiculous with the amount of souls it gives you from bosses. Wow. Like, keep in mind that when someone summons you, you get half the experience for every enemy they beat, including bosses. So, like, at this point in the game, if you're getting summoned and beating bosses with people, you are just, like, you know, even if you get, you know, 12,000 souls for a fight like this, it's just a ridiculous amount. Then again, this is the part of the game where it starts getting more and more souls in order to level up because it's exponential like that. Yep, it it makes sense when you start to see what you level up to, and like what the pyromancy fist costs to upgrade and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. So he has like what four points right here? It looks like. No, uh, just barely uh, yeah. missed. I got three. Yeah. You could probably... Actually, I could, I could, yeah, just a few kills probably, and I end up getting into four. Yeah. But or you could oh, use well. one of the items you picked up. Oh, you're right. Because that mm. would give me enough. Thank you. Yeah, normally that's what <laughs> I use those for. I just wait until, like, you know, I'm a couple thousand away and just use one or two of them to hit the limit. Yep. Sometimes I'll just, you know, stockpile them for a while and just use all of them in one big go and you get a ridiculous amount. Yeah. I think I got, like, 50,000 souls at one point and it was just, like... You, I, I didn't use a single item, like, I didn't use a single soul item until I got to, like, two or three areas after this one. So I just had stockpiled a ridiculous amount. Okay, so, hmm. Endurance, dex, vitality, which shall I go with? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking about maybe beefing, maybe focusing a little more on endurance so I can actually carry a heavier armor set, but... I'm yeah. trying to remember when endurance starts to fall off, but uh, like as of right now, I think you'll it's still around get... forty. Yeah, I'm yeah. Getting, there's I'm getting there's like a max half. level that'd be low. Like there's a max level to your stamina that's lower than you would probably expect. I mm -hmm. think it is around forty or fifty that it just stops going up entirely. Well, like right now, if he puts a point of endurance in, he'll get like three or four stamina. But like later on, it starts to get to like almost one point per. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. I'm gonna edge that out a little bit. Give me a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah, okay. generally for most cookie cutter builds, vitality and endurance are capped at forty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and you can't and like even when you're not going for a specific build, you can't really go wrong putting points into those up to that point. Yeah. Generally okay. what I do with the first couple hours of the game is just stack those two skills and wait on the damage dealing skills for later until I have a weapon I like. Yep. I will be back in like two seconds. If y'all need a break for water or something, go ahead, I guess. 